Welcome to another video in which we're going to be learning about trigonometry basics. This is very crucial for high school, middle school, and university students, which serves as the foundation for trigonometric function and trigonometric identities. So let's get the lesson started. In front of us, we do have what we call as a right angle triangle. Why do we call it as a right angle triangle? The following side is perpendicular to this current side forming 90 degrees. So if you have a triangle with 90 degrees, it means you're dealing with a right angle triangle. So why is this considered to be very important? Well, let's see. If I'm going to assume the following angle to be theta, Theta refers to any subscript for uh, angles. It could be beta, it could be gamma, whatever it is. But theta is the um, standardized approach when we give angles a name or a letter to define that angle. I could choose this side or this angle to be theta, but for the sake of convenience, I chose this one. But the rules I'm going to be teaching you right now, they apply to all of them. Now, there are things to keep in mind. When I have a right angle triangle, Every single side has a name. What are the names? Let's see. We're going to start with the side in front of the 90 degrees. So if I have the 90 degree angle in front of me, take a look at the side in front of it. This is what we call as the hypotenuse. This side is always in front of the, the 90 degree angle. So if you take a look at the right angle triangle, find the 90 degrees, take a look in front of it, the side which is in front of the 90 degrees is my hypotenuse. Now, the other side which is in front of theta, so we have the angle over here which is theta, and the side in front of the angle theta, we call it as the opposite opposite to the angle so it's the opposite side and the final side which we are left with we call it the adjacent these are very important whether you are in middle school high school university you should have full command of the following concepts which serves as the trigonometry basics and trigonometric identities and functions foundation. Without these, you'll have a hard time progressing to further more complicated mathematics concepts. So at this current point, make sure that you smash the like and the subscribe button for future releases and updates. Now let's carry on. So we've established that whenever we have a right angle triangle, the side in front of the 90 degrees angle is hypotenuse, in front of the uh, theta is the opposite, and the one which is left by itself is the adjacent, which leads us to develop very important concepts. Sine of theta, the angle, equals to opposite over hypotenuse. This is the first trigonometric function that you should memorize, I know by heart. Sine theta, sine the angle that we have, is the opposite side, the length of it, divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine theta equals to the adjacent side, the length of it, over the hypotenuse. And finally, the third trigonometric function, which is important to memorize, which is the tangent, which equals to sine theta, or let's make it consistent. We're going to flip it up and just simply use tan theta instead, just to make sure everything is quite clear. Tan theta, which means tangent, is the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, which equals to the opposite over the adjacent. Now, let's apply these. But before we do, let's have a small recap. 
We say we have a, a right angle triangle because we have 90 degrees. The side in front of it is the hypotenuse. If I pick this to be theta, the side of it is the opposite. And the one which is left off is the adjacent, which led us to develop sine theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent of theta is the sine of theta divided by cosine of theta or the opposite divided by adjacent. Now we're ready to have a very nice quick example to help us understand this. Let's say the hypotenuse side is 5 meters and the adjacent side is 4 meters and the opposite side is 3 meters. Let's apply the concepts. Sine of theta equals to the opposite divided by hypotenuse. So 3 divided by 5. 3 over 5. It's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. My adjacent side equals to 4 over 5. Now, Tangent of theta equals to sine of theta divided by cosine of theta, which equals to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side, which means we have 3 over 4. So you notice this important trigonometry basics foundation is crucial as we're going to be learning future wise how to develop this to come up with trigonometric identities, uh, trigonometric functions, which are a bit more complicated than this. Uh, this serves as the foundation and you should have full control on the following concept. Make sure that you replay it over and over again. Now, a quick recap. We said sine the angle is opposite of hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is sine over cosine. So make sure at this current point you smash the subscribe button and I'll see you in the upcoming video.